during the morning session, somebody made an interesting remark that the biggest danger to the media in Kenya is that there are not enough journalists of integrity and professionalism. How will we make a difference in society if those of integrity are the minority in the newsroom? We are not only the mirror of society, we are actually the conscience of society. Are we living up to what is expected of us? Every year we ask people to submit the stories that they have done throughout the year. We put together a nice panel of judges. We ship them off to Naivasha, where for two days they go through all the entries, listen to all the radio broadcasts, watch all the TV clips, and come up with the people that they think are the best of the best. The convention and this gala award is a culmination of this long process. I'd like to maybe encourage other people who run awards to join hands so that we can have one successful gala event. You know, every month we see the, there is a annual energy awards, which is run by the Ministry of Energy. Then there's the annual sports awards. And um, I'm just of the feeling that maybe we should uh, have a conversation about whether we need to have so many award uh, galas uh, every year. A free and independent media is cardinal in the promotion and building of democratic societies. The media's role as an agent and indicator of democratization becomes even stronger when it remains professional and commits to excellence. The judiciary and the media need to forge a productive and principled partnership in the advancement of our constitutional democracy. I want to state that the judiciary's support to the media will continue, and I wish to invite the leadership of the council to work with our Judiciary Training Institute and mount a training program at the Judiciary Training Institute, which should lead to accreditation of the journalists to cover cases in court, particularly the high-profile cases. The excellence awards that we give out tonight are, in my view, a signal or, or evidence of that desirable professional conduct. This is the reason I am delighted to join you tonight as you crown your colleagues who have stood out from the cloud. During our six-day assignment, we came across some great stories, but that were very poorly sourced, single-sourced, and lacked attribution. But then again, there were those stories that were brilliantly told, well-sourced, and were properly attributed and followed up in what we have come to refer to today as day two journalism. While some of the stories that we judged had, had very good depth, there were some potentially good stories, but that fell short when it came to depth, and particularly in the business and ICT categories. We came across stories that fell short of ethical principles. Categories such as development, gender reporting, and good governance presented us with a huge challenge but at the end of the day, a winner had to be determined. I'd like to urge the Media Council of Kenya to open up the space to include vernacular entries so that we can consider um, entries that are broadcast in vernacular languages. And secondly, to also consider awarding journalists or media houses who use online technology to produce quality journalism and tell compelling stories. Development Reporting Award, ICT and Telecommunications Reporting Award, Gender Reporting Award, Environment Reporting Award, Sports Reporting Award, Health Reporting Award, Business Reporting Award, Good Governance Reporting Award, Media Freedom Award, Photographer of the Year Award, Cartoonist of the Year Award, Camera Person of the Year Award, Journalist of the Year Award, Lifetime Contribution in Journalism Award.
Development Reporting Award, Print. Leopold Obi, Daily Nation. Dominic Omondi Akure, The Standard. John Kamau, Daily Nation. The winning entry gives an informative account of the fishing industry in Lamu, which though lucrative is beset by a myriad of complications like overfishing, the use of illegal gear and practices that destroy fish habitats. So you know who the winner is, right? <laughs> Leopold Obi. A big round of applause to Buana Leopold Obi. Development Reporting Award, Television, Mashirima Kapombe and Moses Bayer, KTN, Alex Chamwade, Chams Media, KTN, Sharon Momani and Edmond Odur, KTN News. The journalists of this winning entry give an incisive and in-depth report on the development of coastal music over the years. So we have two winners in this category. Mashirima Kapombe and Moses Bayer. Congratulations. Makofi Tafadhali. ICT and Telecommunications Reporting Award, Print, Yunus Kilonzo, Business Daily, Vincent Achuka and Elvis Ondieki, Sunday Nation, Sarah Oko, Business Daily. And the winner is Yunis Kilonzo. <laughs> A big round of applause to Yunis Kilonzo, Daily Nation. The winning story in this category was on a mobile application called BioSim that aids parents keep track on their children while at school with the aim of reducing absenteeism in schools at the coastal region. The winner is George Otieno. Gender Reporting Award, Print. Vincent Achuka, Daily Nation. Masi Roda Odiambo, The Star. Celestine R. Olilo, Daily Nation. The winning entry gives an account of children, though not considered as prisoners, end up being treated as prisoners, having to follow the unvarying timetable and make do with bare essentials. And the winner is Vincent Achuka. Makofi Tafazali. Ni ugonjwa nadra sana katika jamii yetu lakini pia inawakumba idadi kubwa ya watu barani Afrika. Ugonjwa huu huathiri akina mama kwa wazee sawia na wakati mwingine hata watoto. Broadcast Radio Mercy Tyra Murengu. Mercy Tyra. Gender Reporting Award Television Andrew Ocheng and Robert Gishire NTV Kenya. John Allen Namu Sam Munia Elijah Kanyi, Kasim Mohammed, KTN, Dennis Okari, and Eric Isinter, NTV Kenya. And the winner is Andrew Ocheng and Robert Gichira. <laughs> she smiles and laughs now, but it has not always been like this. As she makes us lunch, we hear her life story. Environment Reporting Award, Print, Vera Okeo, Daily Nation, Leopold Obi, Daily Nation, Ali Jama, The Standard.
And the winner is Vera Okeo. Very few people would know the importance of bees and butterflies in food production. The excessive use of pesticides, deforestation and intense tillage of land is causing the decline of bees which could end up affecting food crop production due to lack of pollination. Thank you so much. A number of plants are under threat. One such crop facing the threat of extinction is the cashew nut. This activity going on along the coast is happening with the citizenry oblivious of the economic repercussions. And the winner is... Ali Maigu. Ali Maingu, Radio Salam. Environment Reporting Award, Television, Gladys Njoroge Kigo and David Kimani Kabiru, Citizen TV, Dennis Matara and John Ombega, K24. Zainab Wandati and Robert Gishira, NTV Kenya. And the winner is Gladys Joroge Kigo and David Kemani Kabiru. The very tools that are valuable to the elephants themselves. Elephants use their tusks to dig out for roots when they are seeking out roots during drought. Elephants are known to be able to dig wells. Sports Reporting Award, Print, Isaac Swiller, Daily Nation, Stephen Omondi, Daily Nation, Jonathan Komen, The Standard. And the winner is... Um, Isaac Swiller. Isaac Swiller, Daily Nation. The winning story in this category gives an account on the poor state of Kenyan football, giving a deep, well-researched history that traces Kenya's club football journey from 1964, when Kenyan teams would post impressive performances in continental assignments. Sports Reporting Award Television Dennis Okari and Eric Isinter, NTV Kenya, Wahiga Mwaura and Charity Wanja, Citizen TV, Mike Mulure Odur, KTN. And the winner is... Dennis Okari and Eric Isinter. He claims he lost all the money earned in athletics over the years. Command made good money from Madrid to Stuttgart, Dakar to Shanghai in the indoors well as outdoor championships. His career projection and ranking Many is one of the most promising Kenyan athletes. Asante Sana, thank you so much. Health Reporting Award, Print. Angela Okech, Daily Nation. Sarah Ooko, Business Daily. William Inganga and Estam Buthia, Daily Nation. And the winner is Angela Okos. The winning entry gives an account of how many hospitals in the country lack uterine balloon tamponades. The lack of such a vital device has led to escalated cases of postpartum hemorrhage, making it the number one killer of women in maternity wards. Health Reporting Award Television Victor Moturi, Ebru TV Sharon Momani, KTN News And the winner is Victor Moturi Victor Moturi Kini badai kukuja kangaroo rooms 
mother's rooms nikapata maendeleo ingine ya kangaroo mothers Mbinu hii almaarufu kangaroo mother care inamwezesha mzazi kumbeba mtoto kifuani Business Reporting Award Radio Diana Wanyonyi Baraka FM Joseph Jira Baraka FM And the winner is Broadcast Radio the winner is Diana Wanyonyi Diana Wanyonyi Baraka FM lakini tatizo lingine lilikuwa ni kukosa benki ya kuwekeza fedha zao na hapa wanakijiji hao wakajaliwa na wazo la kuanza benki ya kijiji maarufu kama Kinondo Village Bank kupitia shirika la kuhifadhi mazingira na viumbe wa baharini la World Wide Fund Business Reporting Award Television Zainab Wandati and Robert Gishira and TV Kenya Sharon Momanyi Lofty Matambo and Stanley Mbichu KTN Gladys Njoroge Kigo and David Kimani Kabiru Citizen TV And the winner is Zainab Wandati and Robert Gishira That's right there is Mumias Sugar Factory here in Mumias and what usually happens when a factory is milling is that you'd see smoke coming out of the chimneys but we've been here four days now and we are yet to see any smoke coming out of it in fact the locals are telling us that right now the mill only works twice a week The winner is is Joseph Jira. Joseph Jira Baraka FM. Mbui tukienda Msumbiji si kwetu pia kwa sababu tuko sauti za baadhi ya watu kutoka jamii ya Makonde eneo la Ukunda kusini mwa Pwani ya Kenya. Sauti za kilio cha kutafuta haki. Haki ambayo si rahisi kupatikana. Haki ya Wakenya kutafuta uraia nchini mwao. Good Governance Reporting Award Television John Allen Namu Sam Munia Elijah Kanye Kasim Mohammed KTN Dennis Okari and Eric Esinte and TV Kenya Duncan Hayembe and Charles Karioki K24 And the winner is Broadcast Television African Uncensored John Alan Namu, Sam Munia, John. Elijah Kanyi, and Kasim Mohammed. This vault has 293 hours of footage with names, faces, and bribe exchanges that paint a worrying picture of the depth and organization of the bribery and extortion machine inside City Hall. Okay. The winner is uh, the winner is Diana Wanyonyi. Wengu la huzuni lilitanda pwani mwa Kenya na Kenya kwa jumla baada ya mwanahabari mmoja mkongwe wa gazeti la Standard Joseph Masha katika kaunti ya Kilifi kufariki kwa hali ya kutatanisha. Media Freedom Award Television Francis Ontomwa Francis Mutalaki and Edmond Odour KTN Victor Wetende Ebru TV And the winner is Francis Otoma 
Francis Mutaraki and Edmond Odwal. Since he started practicing journalism, he has gone through some real experiences. Some that he says have forever changed his perspective about life. Photographer of the Year Award, Phoebe Okal, Daily Nation, Danish Oching, The Standard, Thomas Mukoye, Reuters News Agency. The winner is... And the winner is Phoebe Okal. Phoebe Okal, Daily Nation. Cartoonist of the Year Award, Michael Monene, Nation Media Group, Stanislas Olonde, The People. And the winner is... Hello, and the winner of Cartoonist of the Year, Cartoonist of the Year is Michael Monene. Michael Monene, Nation Media. Harry Kitchers can creatively be creatively used be used to communicate without using many words camera person of the year award edwin mwai k24 eugene osidiana k24 charles karaoke and tv kenya and the winner is Edwin Mwai. Edwin Mwai, K24. Ability of a journalist to creatively use the lens to present images. Kukataa kupiga makofi. Je, huu ni ungwana? Aya! Bora Gerich, asante sana bwana chairman. Makofi nyingine tafadhali we celebrate Madam Elizabeth Omolo. Asante sana. We celebrate your work. For many years raising sons and daughters in the media world. Many thanks. African Uncensored. Hey! John Alan Nam. Wow! Sam Munia. Wow! Elijah Kanyi. Wow! And Kazim Mohammed. Kenya is growing. And with over one million babies being born every year, the population's needs are growing too. Villages are becoming towns, towns are becoming cities, and a contest for space is becoming. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause again, once again, to these men making us proud in the world of journalism, setting the pace in regards to professionalism, integrity, and of course accountability, and saying, yes, this is the moment. <laughs>